What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's CJ. We're back with another NBA prize picks player props video. So if you play on prize picks or maybe you don't because it's not legal in your state, maybe you have sports betting where you live, well, definitely stick around. We're going to be talking some player props in the NBA. We're talking real life points, assists, rebounds, and three point makes in today's video. I'm going to try and hit you guys with eight solid picks. Yesterday's video, we went six for eight. Not bad, not bad. So if you played some of my picks from yesterday's video, hopefully you profited. I would love for one of these videos to hit eight out of eight one day. Maybe today will be the day, who knows? If this is your first time here, definitely hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. We're on our way to our first 1,000 subscribers. I would love to love to love to hit that goal by the end of the month. We've got a little time left to do it, about a week or so, and I think we can. There's about half of you who watch these videos who haven't subscribed yet, so definitely do so. Make sure that you are subscribed and those notifications are turned on. Now, yesterday's like goal, you guys smashed it again. I'm gonna have to keep increasing it until I beat you guys. So today, I'm gonna put it at 33 likes. I'm taking the over. That means you guys have to get at least 34 likes on today's video in order for it to hit. I'm gonna keep cranking it up, turning up the dial until you guys uh, don't hit. How about that? That's my challenge to you. Anyways, let's talk today's NBA slate. It's a good medium-sized slate. Let's discuss some injury news. First and foremost, we've got Danilo Gallinari, who's dealing with a foot injury. He's questionable for Atlanta tonight. Tyler Harrow, foot injury. He's questionable for the Heat. Houston's Daniel House, ankle probable for Friday's matchup against the Clippers, so Daniel House will be in the lineup for Houston. Looks like Clint Capella is dealing with a back injury. He's questionable. Now, they're already uh, without Trey Young, at least for the next few games. So there could be a lot of minutes opening up, a lot of production opening up for guys like John Collins, for Bogey, that's Bogdanovich, in case you don't know his nickname, and Kevin Herter is another one to keep your eye on. So definitely some big news in Atlanta. Uh, Paul George is going to be returning to the Clippers lineup for Friday. Uh, he was rested in the last game. It looks like Oklahoma City Thunder's Lukens Dort. Lou Dort is questionable with a hip injury on Friday. Kent Bazemore is going to be out for the Warriors on Friday. Kemba Walker is going to be rested, ruled out for the Celtics on Friday in a back-to-back -back situation. It looks like Kevin Durant is dealing with a thigh injury, but he's questionable for the Nets as they take on the Boston Celtics. That's a big matchup in the East. Uh, Evan Fournier is not on the Celtics injury report Friday, which means he should be playing for them. Looks like the Lakers' Markeith Morris will start uh, the second half on Thursday, which doesn't matter because we're talking Friday. Uh, you caught me there. You caught me there, number fire news. Um, I don't see any other big news for Friday. So those are the biggest ones. There's the Trey Young news. He's dealing with an ankle injury out for at least two games. So there you have it for news. Let's go ahead and move into some of these player props. We're going to start things off as we always do with a couple of point props for you. And the first guy I want to talk about is Terry Rozier. They're taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers tonight. This game tips off at 8, 10 p.m. Rozier, he is projected for 23 and a half points on prize picks and on all of the major sports books out there. So let's start things off by looking at the projections on Number Fire. In case you're unfamiliar with it, Number Fire, completely free website. They offer free fantasy point projections. They also offer free single stat point projections, such as points, assists, and rebounds. So we're going to use them as a reference today. Let's do a search by hitting Control F and typing in Terry Rozier's name. And you can see that the points column already highlighted yellow. And Terry Rozier is projected for 22 and a half points. Now, let's look at the game total and the spread real quick before we go any further here, because that's going to tell us a lot about this game. You can see that the total is 211 and a half points, meaning it's not a very high scoring game here. Not very high totals. Uh, both of these teams, not very good teams. So the uh, totals reflect that. Now, Charlotte is a one and a half point favorite at home, meaning this game should stay close and competitive. Guys like Terry Rozier, Miles Bridges, Devontae Graham, Sexton, Garland, Love, Jared Allen, all those guys should play a full complement of minutes, as many as they can possibly handle. So not really worried about this game blowing out whatsoever. So with that in mind, we can move ahead here. So far, the under looking like the way to go on Terry Rozier and these points. Let's dig into his season averages and take a look at his last five games and see how he's been scoring the basketball lately. 
Now, you can see for the season, his point per game average, according to his player card here on NBA.com, has him at 20 and a half points for the season, which is lower than 23 and a half. But we have to keep in mind, no LaMelo Ball, no Gordon Hayward. There's some big guys, big names who carry a large usage number who are not in the lineup for the Charlotte Hornets. So we expect that this point per game average will go up once we look at his last five games. So let's do that right now. We'll run a little report here on NBA.com. Very handy tool in case you're unfamiliar with it. Totally free once again. So he's played in all five of his last five games, getting over 38 minutes per game. And in that time span, he's scoring 23 points per game, which is exactly what we need him to do tonight if we're looking to take the under. 23 or less points would get us paid. So the under is definitely looking like a good way to go based on the low game total so far, his season averages, and his last five game averages. So let's take a look here at rotowire.com again another completely free website they give you all of the major sports books side by side so you can see how the different projections and props uh, stack up against each other so we'll type in terry rosier's name you can see at 23 and a half points on DraftKings sportsbook not really getting any juice over or under there if we scroll over here fan duel uh, minus 122 on the under. So that's looking like it's trending in the right direction if we're looking to take the under on Terry Rozier. Now, BetMGM, 23 and a half, minus 125 on the under. And finally, points bet, minus 120 on the under as well. So guys, I'm sticking with my guns here. I think all signs point to Terry Rozier going under 23 and a half real life points. So liking the way that one's looking. Now, John Wall is the next guy I want to talk about. In case you haven't heard, the Houston Rockets have been eliminated from playoff contention. They have no shot at making the playoffs now. So guys like John Wall, who have been in the league for a while, uh, may have a little bit of uh, bumps and bruises. I don't think that they're going to be pushed into many minutes in the uh, stretch here, down the stretch of the, of the season. I think that these guys will be rested as much as possible. And uh, I'd be surprised if John Wall hits this 22 and a half point number. So I'm taking the under on John Wall versus the tough Los Angeles Clippers team. So let's take a look at John Wall's projections today for points. We will go back to number fire, type in John Wall's name, and you can see they've got him projected for just 21 points. So that is a pretty good differential there, one and a half point difference. The under is definitely looking like a solid way to go. If I close this little box here, you could see that According to the various sports books, uh, or excuse me, according to the Vegas projections, uh, the game totals are 223 points. Pretty healthy total. Houston, a nine and a half point underdog, meaning that there is a big time chance that this game blows out and is a runaway for the Houston Rockets, meaning they may not play John Wall four quarters, uh, full minutes. So, uh, definitely liking the under so far on John Wall. Now let's take a look at his season averages and his five game averages. So we'll type his name in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, for the season, 20.4 points per game, which puts him almost two or more uh, points under his projection tonight. So I'm liking the way that's looking. Let's click the stats. Go to traditional splits. Click advanced filters. Change the season segment to five games. Click run. And you can see here that John Wall scoring averages over his last five games in which he's appeared in four of those games is just 19 points. So even more reason to take the under on John Wall today. Now, last but not least, we're going to type John Wall's name into Rotowire. And you can see that across the industry here, uh, it's looking like the under is the way to go. DraftKings, they've got him at 22 and a half. He's a minus 121 to go under. Now, FanDuel and BetMGM not really seeing any action on the over or the under. They're at a tie, and the same thing goes for points bet. They're at a tie there, too. But, guys, I think all signs point to John Wall being a good underplay here. There's definite blowout risk, which means I don't think we're going to see this guy much, if at all, in the fourth quarter, depending on how the game goes. Uh, you can see that his season averages and his last five game averages are both below 22 and a half points. So, Again, not liking the over for John Wall. I think that the under is a solid way to go. And last but not least, the uh, one sports book, probably the one we could trust the most here, DraftKings Sportsbook. They've got him going under 22 and a half, which lines up with his projection over on number fire today of 21 points. So yes, indeed, I am sticking with it. John Wall under 
22 and a half points. So with our points props out of the way, we can move on to the next category, which is going to be assists. And I've got a couple of names that I want to discuss for you. Now, one of these guys is kind of tricky, and that's Devontae Graham, the Charlotte Hornets point guard, shooting guard. He's a combo guard, kind of does a little bit of everything at those guard spots. Uh, we've already talked about the game totals being pretty low here. Now, typically in low game totals, I like to take unders on guys. But in this case, uh, the game's spread is going to stay close, which means Devontae Graham should be playing uh, plenty of minutes in this one. So at five and a half assists, I think I'm looking to take the over, and we're going to show you why right now. So we'll click the assist column over on number fire to highlight that. Let's go ahead and do a search for Devontae Graham's name. And you can see his projected assists for tonight are 5.9, which puts him closer to six assists than it does five assists. And we want him to be at six assists or more. We need him to hit that six or more number in order to hit the over on Devontae Graham and make some money. So, so far looking pretty good here on Devontae Graham. Let's look at his season averages and his last five game averages and see how they compare with his projection tonight. Now, as the world turns and the page loads, all right, we got Devontae Graham at 5.2 assists, which puts him under his projection tonight of five and a half assists. So this is a little bit of a red flag, a little bit of a knock against going over on Devontae Graham assists here. But keep in mind, there is no Gordon Hayward. There is no LaMelo Ball. So these five game averages that we're about to pull up here will be a little bit more revealing, a little bit more accurate and telling when trying to decide on if we should go over or under on these five and a half dimes. All right, so in that five game window, he's played in three of those games, averaging about 30 and a half minutes. And in that time span, he is averaging 5.7 assists. So that's good because that's more than 5.5, meaning that if you think about five assists and six assists on a spectrum, well, he's leaning more towards six than he is five, which is where we want him to be once again. So looking pretty good there. Now we're back to Rotowire. We type in Devontae Graham's name after clicking the assist category. And you can see that DraftKings Sportsbook minus 137 to go over five and a half assists. Very strong position there. Even stronger position on FanDuel Sportsbook. He's a minus 140. Gotta love the way the juice is flowing. That's looking great. BetMGM minus 133 on five and a half assists. And finally, points bet, our fourth reference sports book. They've got him at minus 130 to go over five and a half assists. So I think all signs point to Devontae Graham going over five and a half assists. The only knocks against him tonight are going to be that the totals of this game are pretty low and the fact that his season averages are a bit lower than five and a half assists. But we do have to take in consideration the projections, his last five game averages, and the way that the juice is flowing here on Vegas. Everything seems to point to an over on Devontae Graham. So I'm liking the way that's looking. All right. Well, it looks like Prize Picks just pumped in some new players on the board. Got Kevin Herter up there, some of these Miami Heat guys. Uh, but we're not here to talk about them. Not here, not now. But Will Barton, we are going to talk about. And I'm going to look at his assist prop. He's at three and a half assists today. I'm looking to take the under on Will Barton at three and a half dimes. They're taking on the Golden State Warriors. That game tips off at 10.20 p.m. over on Prize Picks or 10.10 p.m. on the East Coast if you don't play on Prize Picks. So one of the late night games, three and a half assists on Will Barton seems like it's just a little bit possibly a little bit too high. So let's type in Will Barton or Trill Barton. If you know him like I know him, I don't really know him. 3.2 assists is his projection today. Uh, let's look at the game totals before we dig in any further here on Will Barton. You can see that this Denver Golden State game has a pretty high total of 229 implied points. So yeah, it's a little concerning when you're looking to take the under on somebody and the game totals are so high and the spread is just two points, meaning guys like Will Barton, Jokic, Curry, Draymond, all those guys are going to be playing a full run of minutes in this one. So yeah, that's a little bit of a knock against Will Barton and the under on his assist, but let's move on. Let's look and see how Will Barton's been distributing the basketball both for the season and his last five games. All right, so you can see he averages 3.3 assists per game, which means that, if you think about it again, on a spectrum, three to four assists, he's more often than not leaning toward three assists than he is four assists. So we're going to change this from 
season averages to last five games because of course Jamal Murray their lead point guard has been out for a number of games here we should have a pretty good sample size and get an idea of how the assists look for Will Barton since that injury to Jamal Murray and you can see in that time span his assists are floating right around three and a half he's at 3.6 which is actually a little bit higher than three and a half meaning that there's a little bit of a red flag here, a little bit of a risk. He has been leaning more toward four assists than he has three assists, so I'm a little worried about that. But we're going to move ahead here, and we're going to look at the assists for Barton over on Rotowire real quick. We got Will Barton at three and a half on DraftKings Sportsbook. He's a minus 127 to go under. Will Barton on FanDuel, minus 122 to go under. On BetMGM, he is a minus 120 to go under. And then last but not least, points bet. They do not have a points prop, or I'm sorry, an assist prop up for Will Barton there. So we just have the three other sports books that we can reference here. So guys, if I'm having to make a decision here on Will Barton and these assists, I am probably going to recommend we fade. Yeah, yeah, caught you off guard there. Not taking the over, not taking the under. I'm probably going to walk away. Why? Because... His last five game averages are actually above three and a half assists. The game totals being so high, they worry me a little bit. Plus the spread's uh, close. It's a small spread, meaning that these guys are going to play a ton of minutes. And there's a chance that Will Barton could go over these three and a half assists here, despite what Vegas thinks and despite what the projections say. So just not loving it. I mean, you could play it, but if you do play it, I'd probably... Um, I'd probably just go for the for the under. I don't know, but I'm, I'm fading it. For the record, I'm fading it. All right, so with the assists out of the way, let's talk a couple of rebound props here. And the first one I've got is Draymond Green, and we've already talked about them, meaning the Golden State Warriors are taking on the Denver Nuggets tonight. So I've got Draymond Green at, let's see, six and a half rebounds. I think that's a little bit light. I mean, there was a point in time where Draymond Green was pulling down eight, nine rebounds, Per game, So I think with the totals being as high as they are, that Draymond has a good chance of going over six and a half boards. So back to number fire we go. We're going to highlight the column for rebounds. And then we're going to type in Draymond because he's the only Draymond in the NBA and his name pops right up. And you can see that he's at 7.1 rebounds. So they like the over on Draymond's rebounds as well. So with that in mind, we're going to move over to NBA.com, type in Draymond Green's name. Let's open up a new tab. And you can see for the season, he's at 6.5 boards, which puts him right in line with his projection, oddly enough, meaning that between six and seven rebounds, he's, you know, could go either way here on six or seven boards. He could fall in either direction. Now, I think what pushes him over the top and pushes him more towards seven is the fact that the totals are so high. The spread is so close. There's going to be a lot more shots going up. There's going to be a lot more rebound opportunities because of that. So in his last five games, his rebound averages are actually at seven, which puts him above six and a half. So this is looking good here. I'm feeling A-OK -okay here about Draymond Green and these rebounds. So let's click the rebound button here on Rotowire. We're going to type in Draymond's name. And at six and a half boards on DraftKings Sportsbook, not really seeing any action over or under on this six and a half prop. But FanDuel, you can see he is a minus 122 to go over. So that's a good sign. Bet MGM, an even bigger favorite to go over at minus 128. And then last but not least, points bet, not really seeing any action over or under there. So I'm feeling pretty good here. Two out of the four sports books that are showing any kind of action are showing the kind of action we want, which is over six and a half rebounds. The projections also agree with Vegas. So that is a good good thing for us. And his uh, averages for his last five games are seven rebounds per game. So everything looks pretty good here for me to stay with the over on Draymond Green's six and a half boards. Now, a guy that I like to go under on his rebound prop tonight is going to be CJ McCollum. Yes, a fellow CJ. We're going to discuss him right here, right now. Taking on the Memphis Grizzlies tonight, 10, 10 p.m. or 10 p.m. if you don't play on prize picks. So it's another one of these late night games. So let's dig into the shooting guard here for the Portland Trailblazers, CJ McCollum. We'll type his name in and he does not immediately come up. Let's try this a different way. 
There we go. So his rebound prop is 4.1, uh, his projection, I should say. So that's under 4.5, meaning they expect him to stay more around that 4 rebound range than they do his 5 rebound range. But got to look at the game totals because they are very high 233 implied points this is going to be a high scoring game and the spread is just three points favoring the portland trailblazers meaning all the starters including cj mccollum for both teams should play a full complement a full run of minutes so high scoring game close spread going under once again is a little bit worrisome i'm just throwing it out there but we got to dig a little deeper. We got to do our research here on CJ McCollum. So we're going to type his name in on NBA.com. Now for the season, he's averaging 4.1 rebounds, which is good because that's closer to four than it is to five. So I'm liking the way that things are setting up so far for McCollum. But we're going to look at his last five games because we know he missed some time with an injury and maybe things changed a little bit. Damian Lillard's been out of the lineup. So let's look at his last five and see how things have been going. His last five games, he's playing almost 38 minutes per game. And during that time span, his rebounds are actually pretty high here. 5.8 rebounds per game, almost six rebounds per game. So yes, that is a red flag against the under on CJ McCollum in these four and a half boards. Just something to consider. But Damian Lillard will be playing tonight. So keep that in mind. All right, we're going to move it over to Rotowire. We're going to type in McCollum's name there. And on DraftKings Sportsbook at four and a half boards, not seeing any action over or under, but FanDuel, a massive minus 142 on the under, looking very, very good there. BetMGM, minus 133 on the under, also a strong position being taken there. And last but not least, points bet, minus 130. Yes, the juice apparently is flowing on three out of the four sports books that we like to reference here on the under for CJ McCollum in these four and a half boards. So uh, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to hope that he does not pull down five or more rebounds. He hasn't done it very often. Yes, the last five games, he has been rebounding a lot better. But we've got Yusuf Nurkic back. We've got Enos Cantor. Damian Lillard should be playing. So they should be fully healthy here and have their full complement of players. So I'm going to hope that they snatch more rebounds than CJ McCollum does in this one. All right. Speaking about the Portland Trail Blazers, we've mentioned Damian Lillard's name a couple of times here. We're going to look at his three-point prop and see if going over or under on Damian Lillard makes any sense tonight. Now, he's at three and a half three-point makes tonight. I think that that is a number that he can definitely go over on. So I'm going to be looking to take the over on Damian Lillard, hoping he makes at least four three-pointers in this game. All right, so we're going to go back to NBA.com. We're going to type in Damian Lillard's name and control click to pop up a new tab. Now, we don't get any immediate information here about his three point makes for the season. So we got to click the stats tab and we got to click the traditional splits link. And then once that loads, we move down to the season averages. Now, for the season, he is attempting nearly 11 three-pointers per game, which is a huge, huge number. Now, on those nearly 11 attempts, he's got four makes per game. So if we're looking to take the over, well, this is a good way to go so far. This is looking good. Now, let's look at his last five games and see if those uh, four three-point makes go up or go down in his last five. Now, you can see he's only played in two games out of that last five-game sample, but in those games, his three-point attempts are actually up to 11.5, and on those 11.5 attempts, he's making three and a half, which is exactly where his prop is today on prize picks and all of the various sports books. So um, I'm not seeing enough to like push me off of this over on three and a half three-point makes, so Let's go over to the sports books and see if there's any action on the over or the under on Damian Lillard here. Now, we're not seeing anything straight away on DraftKings Sportsbook. It is a tie, minus 113. But on FanDuel, people are taking the over here at minus 118 on three and a half three point makes. Now, again, not seeing any movement here on BetMGM or on points bet. So we've only got this one site, which is FanDuel, where they're taking the over. So Maybe it's a little bit risky, but man, you could see he's attempting 10 or 11 or more three-point attempts per game. This is a high-scoring game. This is a close spread game. So I expect Damian Lillard to put up as many shots as he possibly can in this one. So I'm going to stick with it. I think the over on Damian Lillard in these three-and-a-half three-point makes is a good way to go. 
Okay, last but not least, we've got our final three-point prop and player to discuss, which is going to be Darius Basley. I think we talked about him in a video, maybe a couple videos ago. We liked him to go over his one and a half three-point prop, but he did not get it done. Now, he attempted, I think, eight of them in that game. I think he just went one for eight. Not the best shooter in the world, but anytime you play the Washington Wizards, you get a little bit of a stimulus package to all of your stats. More points are scored. More shots are going up. More rebounds, more assists, more everything. So hopefully more three-pointers are in Darius Basley's future tonight. So we're going to do what we do and head back to NBA.com, type in Basley's name, open up his player card, go down to the stats tab or stats link, whatever you want to call it. And then from there, we go down to traditional splits. And you can see that for the season, he attempts over five three-pointers per game, making 1.5, which is exactly in line where his prop is today on prize picks and the various sports books. But we know that that was with SGA, Al Horford, and some of these other high usage guys. So without those guys in the lineup for a while now, we can look at the more recent sample size and get a better idea. Now his three-point attempts are actually up 6.4 attempts per game in his last five games, but his makes are down actually 1.2 three-point uh, shots made per game during his last five games. So that's not looking good. That's a big red flag because we needed him to be closer to two three-point makes to give us any type of confidence in taking the over on Darius Basley today. But we're not seeing that. So let's uh, hope that maybe this will help us out here. And uh, Rotowire doesn't have a prop up for DraftKings. Now over on FanDuel, he is a minus 122 to go over one and a half three-point makes. So that's a good sign. Uh, slight favorite to go over here on BetMGM at minus 118. And then finally, points bet. They don't have any action over or under on Darius Basley. So, guys, I'm not going to say that I feel the utmost confident here in Darius Basley going over these one and a half three point makes. I will say that the game totals are in his favor. This should be a pretty high scoring game. You can see the implied totals here are 231 points. Oklahoma City, though, is a 10-point underdog, so there's a big chance here that this game blows out. How that impacts Basley, I don't know. I'm not sure that he is considered to be blowout-proof, like a guy who gets minutes in a blowout, or if the game's close, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, not feeling super confident about Basley, but if I were to make a choice, it would probably be on the over and hope for the best that he breaks out of this shooting slump that he's been in. But that's going to do it for today's video. I hope some of these props are uh, working out for you guys. I hope you take a couple of them and make some money like yesterday. Uh, it would be amazing if we went eight for eight in today's prop video, but if we don't, you know I'll be back at it again in the next video trying my best to help you guys win more money. So definitely, again, subscribe if you have not yet. Double check, make sure notifications are turned on, and smash the like button if this video brought you any value. We're trying to hit that goal of more than 33 likes in today's video. It's a tough task, but I think you can do it. Appreciate all your support, guys. And until the next one, this is CJ for Out of Bounds. Have a good weekend. Peace out.